Hi Leo, it's Michelle from The Guided Intuitive and uh, this is time for you right now. We're gonna do a bi-weekly read and this is gonna be you and that other person. And it will run from the uh, September 1st through the 15th, uh, 2019. And just remember that uh, energy is fluid. So uh, what I might be talking about might, uh, actually you might be experiencing this currently, may have yet to experience or already have experienced it. So just note that, right? It's a general read. If you'd like a personal read, of course, then go to theguidedintuitive.com. Uh, see if I can say that. <laughs> uh, go to theguidedintuitive.com and we'll get you hooked up over there, okay? So I'm gonna actually pick up where we left off on the last two weeks on the uh, Soul's Journey cards. A lot of you love them, so we're gonna be using that. Uh, as well as the tarot and then, uh, you know, what that uh, person might want to say to you, what you might want to say to them. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Guys, I did uh, start a brand new service. I'm so excited. Note, uh, see my uh, new service link below. You can check it out. Um, but it's all about, um, it's all about really focusing on uh, any sort of limiting beliefs and getting rid of negative emotions. And it's all for just, you know, health and well-being. I mean, that, that's kind of the, biz, the biggest thing. When you've got that emotional freedom and, uh, you know, you get a lot of immediate benefits and it's long-term benefits in the process. So it's exciting. I call it Beyond the Read and uh, it is a, a rapid change uh, session that we go through that I utilize some of the uh, modalities that I have learned in the past. And uh, more about that in my link, so do check it out, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Please continue your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and note your comments below. Uh, and let's see um, what uh, wants to come up. Now, the other person might be uh, you know, a significant other, it might be a person of interest, uh, it might be a friend, uh, it might be a family member of this sort, so just note that, all right? So let's see what wants to come about for you here. Let's see what wants to come up. Ooh, the cards are going a little wild here. Uh, let's see what wants to come up here. All right, so um, move this out of the way. Okay, so, all right. So let's go ahead and talk about your wants in the relationship, and this is gonna be for you, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leo, you know what? Aquarius got this as well. It was right out of the first card too. So this is talking about, um, this is really working with the universe, quite frankly. Working with the universe in terms of the universe and the energies and creating your own concoction in terms of coming up with a solution in, you know, in a situation or in a relationship, okay? So this is about really basking in your glow, uh, working with the energy of the universe to uh, transform anything that might need to be transformed. It's almost as if like precious metals are being, you know, kind of uh, um, brewed together uh, in terms of creating this uh, beautiful glow, this beautiful shiny, you know, diamond that you are. And it, it quite frankly, it's about working with the universe in this. So it is about uh, letting your glow do a lot more of the heavy lifting for you. Uh, and that would just be just being your own unique self, Leo, quite frankly. I mean, this is quite beautiful. It's really just being who you are, your unique self, and in standing and, 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 and just, you know, really standing in your power, right? Uh, but it's really just uh, uh, becoming more refined and even better and better and better. And that's what the precious, when you pound precious metals, it kind of turns them in, uh, you know, to something very, very beautiful, right? So that's what it talks about. So uh, it is about uh, going through that, you know, you know, the crystals that we have on this earth and all of those things have taken years and years and years to develop their beauty, right? And through the pounding of rain, of the, you know, sleet and snow and all of the above, uh, in, in Mother Nature, um, that, that over time they become this exquisite thing that we cherish so much, right? So, and they've got such healing, beautiful powers. So what I really feel that you are creating your own elixir for life, your own dynamic that's going to make you feel really, really comfortable, Leo, uh, in standing in your shoes. So um, I think it's really beautiful. So I love seeing this. So when you become the elixir, just it's about basking your glow, working with the energies of the universe as it pertains to the situation, uh, this person, uh, or, um, you know, whatever it is that's happening within your life right now. It could be just, you know, you coming up with your own solutions for your, your own situation, okay? 
So what do we get? Yeah, this is actually going in in terms of your truth, right? So the elixir is really just living your truth, right? So when I clarify that, I get the high priestess. And that's really kind of what, what I'm kind of feeling there for you too. It's like, what is your true north? And moving in that and creating your world that way and, and your environment and those around you that way that all supports you, right? So that's what I get there that it's really important there. Uh, and what else wants to come up? Um, this is talking about, uh, let me just move this over here. Um, okay, so um, this just talks about that you're in the driver's seat, right? So when I just clarify that where you're from, you know, where, what, you're, uh, you know what you want in a relationship, you want to create this magical, beautiful entity uh, with another person. Uh, and this is talking about, you know, making sure that you're going in and standing by your truth, but knowing that you're in the driver's seat for this, right? So you are depicting what it is that you actually want around your life as well. And we've got two major arcanas here. So this is really quite beautiful, right? Um, it's about balancing two people together. You're both driving forward together in your own truths and, and moving forward and expressing that and evolving and growing and, and sometimes when you express, you evolve, uh, and it brings this relationship to a higher level, and it's creating this real beauty of, of this beautiful energy of two people, too. So you might be doing that within yourself or even with another person or within a situation. So what is, uh, what is uh, your want in the relationship or in this situation? What is your want in this situation? What is it? Wow. Okay, so what this is telling me is that this is about embracing what is next, you know, for yourself, if, uh, you know, if this doesn't involve or in this situation, uh, or with you in this other person. So this is just to let you know there is nothing to be afraid of. You don't need to hide in the dark in terms of the unknown. Let the unknown be your friend, okay? And let it be that ember that kind of sparks this fire inside you. So that's what this is talking about, that, uh, you know, it, you don't have to be afraid of, uh, of, of what is yet to come because you're not sure what's going to happen, right, in the situation. Um, and, and just is letting you know is be positive, be, have a positive outlook and know that the unknown is your friend at this time. So the unknown in the relationship or the unknown in this situation, let that be your friend in this moment, okay? You don't need to be afraid of it. You can actually embrace it. And, and, and in fact, some of the greatest surprises that we've ever had in life sometimes were kind of uh, unknown, right? You just didn't know they were coming, right? <laughs> and, you know, and sometimes the universe works in that way, right? Let the universe uh, work with you uh, in this situation, in this relationship, because that unknown is your friend to help co-create with you to make this go in the direction that is better and for your highest good for, for all concerned. So that is to let you know. So your wants in the relationship is just to, to let you know is that you don't need to be afraid, that you can embrace what's next with no problem. Okay. And note that, uh, and this is actually working in collaboration with others. Okay. So just note that this is working in collaboration with others and celebrating with others and, uh, that type of thing. So you don't have to be afraid, uh, of anything. You get the three of cups. Threes are just about, just be creative in the process, you know, use your artistic and, uh, uh, you know, uh, abilities in this process to really create, come up with something creative to, uh, uh, to, to get rid of that maybe perhaps type of thinking. Just embrace what's next, whatever it is, and be surprised, okay? Uh, and then I think you'll probably end up celebrating. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces uh, kind of type energy, so that's what's wanting to come about. All right, so that's the thing. Now, what is it that is your differences in this relationship or in this situation? What's your differences, okay? Okay, so your differences is, is me time. Maybe me time for each of you. Maybe you both have a different definition of me time or maybe you need more me time, me time right now. So this is about, uh, you know, really at this moment, you know, whatever the case may be, you might be separated, but this is enjoying your me time, your me time at this moment uh, and really basking in that and uh, just loving your own company, uh, especially if things have been a little hectic for you, Leo, and you've been handling a lot of challenging situations. This is saying is that, you know, sit back, uh, relax, and uh, enjoy some of the time that you do have alone to get caught up, to get clarity, to, to just, you know, to be able to uh, 
uh, get in your own um, um, unique rhythm, right? And so you feel that really good foundation for yourself, and then you can bring other things aboard, you know, later on. But what this is saying is that uh, right now is that maybe uh, one person needs more me time than the others, okay? And me being me, not that's what I want to uh, identify. And this is an eight card, so again, it's about the energy, right? Being fluid. Uh, so sometimes there's time alone that you need to grow and sometimes there's time together you need to grow. But this is one of them that taking your own time right now is really helpful. Uh, and anything to clarify that? Yeah, I think you've come to some sort of completion uh, at the end of a cycle, Leo, and you need this time. You need this time at this moment. A lot of major arcana for you here. My gosh. Um, so yeah, this is saying this is a successful completion of an end of a cycle. Okay, this has to do with that, and um, and and this is just basically saying, yeah, you do deserve some me time in the process. So maybe it's a cycle in this uh, situation or in this relationship, whatever the case may be. Okay, so um, what else wants to come about here? Let's see what wants to come about. Let's see if um, what is uh, uh, your uh, your uh, your compatibility? What is about your um, uh, your emotional compatibility. What is that? Okay. So one of you, now this is interesting because Leo, one of you might be feeling a little bit down in the outs, uh, maybe based upon a current situation that has taken place and maybe it has a little bit of a lack uh, uh, of, of mindset. Fives are about change. Okay. So you or that other person, uh, but I'm thinking that this, I'm not sure if this is you that's falling on that or if this is that person that's around. You could be a Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo. Um, but yeah, something that they that made them feel they're putting an end to thinking in terms of, of not getting what they do desire. Okay. So that it's like a tower moment. It's almost as if the, 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 the compatibility emotionally is like now is like you're putting an end to lacking that you do deserve what it is that you want in life and what you want in the relationship and what you want in the situation is putting an end to this poverty type mindset or being felt that you've been left out. So there is nothing that you, uh, that is, and what's so beautiful about that you get that clarity, that Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is that, that true clarity and success and opportunity and inspiration that's coming through. So this, you can say bye, 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 okay? <laughs> so we're getting goodbye to that and we're coming out with the sword and moving forward in our own, uh, in our own courage and with the clarity that we want. So I think you've got some good clarity. Let's check out this other person, what this other person wants in this situation. Let's see what that is for them. Okay. Oh gosh, you've got to watch the Aquarius video. I'm sorry, you might be dealing with an Aquarius or of some sort, but um, the, what this is talking about is is about um, this other person really expressing their uniqueness. Okay, with uh, you know in communication, but also being very grounded in the process, uh, grounded in their uh, communication. But this is saying is that, you know, being able to express their uniqueness and being their own unique self and you just loving that person for who they are. Uh, but this person is is really uh, someone that is uh, maybe a little artistic, a little uh, maybe different as, as to what the world would call normal, so to speak. But it's really, it's like, a, it's like being a nerd is kind of cool, but being weird is kind of cool too, right? You want something to, to that's a little bit of a change here. But this person is about um, boldly expressing themselves. So this is great, okay? This is really great. This is about um, uh, what this person wants in the relationship. They want something different. They don't want the same thing that they've maybe had in the past. They want a different type of relationship. So that's beautiful, okay? Let's me clarify that a little bit more. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like they are being recognized for being a little bit different in what they do. People are recognizing them. Maybe this is someone that is in the spotlight in some way, but they're being recognized by others and, and uh, in terms of this uh, positive aspect moving forward, uh, being very much recognized. It's a six of wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, uh, uh, yeah, and this is really just that fire type energy. So whether you resonate more with this side or this other person might have that in their sun, moon, rising or Venus signs, because, you know, that's what this read is for. Uh, so, um, yeah, it could be that as well, but they're being recognized in what it is that they do and they know that they're a little bit different. So that's quite interesting. What is their wants in this real relationship or in this situation? Uh, Leo, let's see what that is. Okay. All right. Let's see what that is. Okay. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you, you are really mirroring an Aquarian. Note your comments below. Are there a, because I'm getting really picking up on the energy that there is a lot of 
Leos that might be uh, speaking with an Aquarian or have perhaps Aquarian in their uh, birth chart, okay? Uh, and that you're, maybe there's Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but it's coming across extremely strong in this reading. And if you take a look at Aquarius's video, you're going to be able to take a look at that. So do check that out. But this is feeling that this person feels like they've won the lottery. You know, they have been searching for the right person, place, or thing, or situation. And this person is is just making room for the wonderment in terms of the relationship, where this leads, where this wants to go, where, where this path is going to lead them in terms of their life. Uh, this is a 38 card, um, which brings it down to 11. Again, two people just opening up the gates. You know, they've gone through some sort of change and it's almost as if that, they, that they've won the lottery uh, in terms of this situation. Uh, that they're in or in terms of, you know, meeting you perhaps of some sort. So let me clarify that a little bit more on this other person. But the 11 is a master number. It's very, very spiritual, you know. Uh, so this is interesting. So what they do get is the four of cups. When I clarify winning the lottery, um, they get the four of cups. So this is about perhaps, um, you know, not, this is about maybe not seeing an opportunity that is coming their way. Uh, and um, maybe because they're so focused on their current situation at hand. So, but they feel like they won the lottery as it relates to their wants in the relationship. Maybe in the past that they declined offers that weren't so good to them. Uh, and uh, let me clarify the four of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, and they, they've been focused on, on their prosperity, on uh, uh, manifestation, and then the universe is sending them an opportunity. So this is quite beautiful here. Very, very beautiful here. So yeah, they get an opportunity for prosperity. Uh, perhaps they see that with you. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an opportunity uh, to, to move forward. And it's almost as if it's... Uh, um, in the past, you know, they, it's like, again, they feel like they've kind of won the lottery in terms of what they've been manifesting. They could say goodbye to this type of, uh, uh, you know, these types of offers that were coming through that just weren't, were just so-so, okay? So let's take a look at um, their differences. Um, what are their differences with you? Uh, what is the differences uh, that they have with you, Okay. Okay, so maybe this is about, this is about you aren't invited, okay? So perhaps that you are, uh, be, perhaps this person on this side um, is being invited to show up, open up, and, and really suit up. Uh, so this is person is giving them an this person is giving you an opportunity Leo to work with them and to uh, be who you are and to come out with who you are. Um, they're also uh, being invited to be their true self. They're invited to step up and be their unique true self too in this situation, okay? To really open up and show up. If you're going to make this thing work, then there's something that needs to be done uh, in the process. And that's just about uh, really getting to know each other. Let me clarify that a little bit more in terms of differences. Yeah, maybe in the past there was some um, third party uh, situation that really let them, left them heartbroken. Whether it's, and again, you might resonate more on this side than the other. But uh, that is leaving them a little bit... Um, uh, uh, kind of standoffish, maybe perhaps in terms of opening up as they would typically normally do. Uh, so it was a heartbreak in the past that they had with a, uh, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they left that. So they want to actually go to calmer waters. That's the thing. Okay. And they're looking for the happily ever after. They really want a family life and they do want a family and they want to grow and build. So Leo, this is really great. It gives you insight on this other person. What are your similarities that really makes the situation work out? Well, I'm going to go on this side over here. Dream. I think you both have some similar dreams, really. You have a lot of similar dreams and goals. And it's kind of as if you're both go you're all going with the flow, okay? You're going with the flow in this process, okay? Being flexible and, and just focusing on the simple things that need to be done in terms of gaining some sort of foundation in this situation and in together. But the simple things are real important, okay? Uh, so be, pay, pay attention to your dreams if you're on this side, resonate more. Um, but this other person is really uh, doing that, I think. It's real important there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, your similarities is that uh, you both are perhaps going through some sort of healing and you're balancing your energies out. Uh, this might be, again, uh, an Aquarian on this side, just saying, right, the star. Um, but that's what seems, when I, when I clarify that, it's maybe that uh, this person is having dreams about uh, an Aquarian, but it's also... Um, that this person is, uh, you know, seeing, uh, uh, the, you know, going through some healing, uh, trying to stay grounded and balance themselves out and uh, really trying to stay balanced as it retains to the situation. What about your emotional compatibility together? Let's see on this side over here. 
yeah, they're celebrating the sacred gap. So maybe right now that you two are kind of a little bit divided right now, okay, maybe that you're taking some time for yourselves and what it is that you need to do because of your day-to-day -day type of work. Uh, but this is saying just give thanks for this this time that, that has this gap right now because that buffer, that time uh, apart is helping you both grow and then helping you both stand back, look at the situation, move forward again, and then stand back, look at the situation, move forward again. And then you take these baby steps as the relationship moves forward. If I clarify that sacred gap, what is that? It's about celebrating that, yeah. Enjoying yourselves, having really good vibrations with each other, keep the vibes high, okay? That's what I'm seeing, guys. So let's go ahead and see what it is that you'd wanna to say to this person, Leo, and what this other person would like to say to you, okay? Let's see here, here it is. Okay, what you, Leo, would like to say to this person, I know that I've really hurt you. What can I do to help you uh, help um, help you trust me again? So maybe you got into a little squabble. Maybe that uh, uh, you got a little frustrated, right? Uh, and, and, and maybe lost your patience a little bit. So maybe perhaps that is the case. And uh, maybe said something you wouldn't, wouldn't typically do or maybe just said something in a way that you wouldn't typically do. So this is just basically saying, just bringing trust into the equation. Uh, that uh, this is just basically saying that yes I, I understand the gravity of the situation you know to this other person and and it lets the other person know that hey I know I kind of did this a little bit and uh, uh, and and I just I uh, my wish is to uh, focus on on love and do anything that brings us together and not hurt us so that's what I'm seeing coming through here so very interesting what does this other person want to say to you let's see what that is okay Let's see, here it is, okay? Okay, so here it is. You are not crazy. I can see why you'd be upset with me. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so and it could be that you know that if you resonate more on this side, this person might be going through a few things, and uh, you know it's 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 a little confusing uh, for this other person at this time. But again, uh, that you know perhaps just you know again talking about it and releasing it is going to be really important, and, and celebrating the sacred gap with both of you is going to be very important. So this is beautiful, guys. Note your comments below. Uh, I'd like to see how this resonates with you. And I look forward to seeing you in the second half of September. And until then, namaste.